My name is Ed Seaman. I am the owner-operator of Santa Barbara Blueberries, the executive director of the Wild Farmlands Foundation, and the steward of Restoration Oaks Ranch. We're about 20 minutes north of Santa Barbara, right on the 101 on the Gaviota Coast. Restoration Oaks Ranch is 955 acres. We're on about 20 of it. We grow blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. California is a wonderful state for agriculture. We use agroecology techniques to grow our, our berries. So we literally built this farm with the intention of the farm being a part of the ecosystem, not displacing the ecosystem. Being natural outdoor farmers, the Mediterranean climate is pretty, pretty perfect. We don't use a lot of water. We're very conscious of the water use. We're very conscious of the rainfall. We're very conscious of the aquifer. The whole area, the whole Nahoe Falls corridor is, is groundwater and it's shallow well, which means that rainfall really affects how much water we have access to. We use the, the best, most efficient kind of uh, irrigation systems that are available so that we do conserve water. Uh, and we are actually doing things like planting trees um, and using vermicast, worm castings, to replace uh, fertilizer and, and slow down the flow of the water that we do get to try and help the ground retain the water more efficiently, which is something we think that everybody should consider. I think people need to appreciate the land. I think if people would come out and visit the land, and if farmers and ranchers would allow the public out onto the land, they would meet some very interesting ambassadors. You pick operation is fun. Usually it runs for the blueberries, June and July, then the raspberries kick in and the blackberries kick in and we'll, we'll stay open until around October. Most of the folks that visit us are families, young families, but everybody comes and visits. We've got maybe 16, 17 varieties of blueberries, four or five varieties of raspberry. We really only have one variety of blackberry because it's awesome. We've got to get back to doing things locally. We've got to get back to uh, paying attention to where the food comes from and we need to focus on local farms serving local uh, communities much, much more.